Hey everyone, Kevin here with a video for you of the What's in My Doc, and this is using the QuickTime X screen recording feature built in. So I thought it would be nice to do this video uh, because I'm really uh, excited about the screen recording program or that's really integrated into QuickTime X. And so I just wanted to uh, give you a What's in My Doc video because I think you might find some interesting applications. Uh, some of these are normal and some of these are actually pretty cool, so I'll just go through. Finder, that's uh, the main way to navigate. Everyone knows that. Uh, the main way to navigate through Mac OS X. Dashboard, uh, I really like Dashboard uh, because I have lots of sticky notes. And I use stocks and just, you know, like dictionary, Google. I use dic dictionary a lot in there. It's a really helpful thing. Just uh, I use the F4 command on the keyboard and it just opens it up. Mail is the usual uh, mail. Safari, I use Safari, I love Safari, it works well, and especially Safari 4 with those top sites. Uh, that's my primary browser, and Firefox is just a secondary one. In case I'm uploading a YouTube video, I usually have two browsers going, because I don't want to, uh, want to crash, and then the thing will go down. iChat, <coughs> Skype, uh, I have Skype on here. Twitterific, uh, Tweety, I'm trying out Tweety, I really like Tweety better. Because Twitterific always used to go bing ba ding every time you got a message or a tweet, and it'll be a little bit annoying. So Tweety just does this blue uh, icon right up here that turns blue when you have new tweets. Address book, iCal, preview, iTunes, and these these are all standard. Uh, iPhoto, I really like iPhoto. iPhoto is iPhoto is great, and the new iTunes nine. It's really an improvement, visual improvement. Photo booth. Next, we have Acorn. Acorn is a uh, kind of like a scaled down version of. It's almost like a mini uh, Photoshop, but it, you know it does a lot of the things like layering and different effects and just like drawing right on there. It's a it's a pretty neat application. I got it in the Mac my, my Heist bundle, uh, which was earlier uh, in the summer, and it was a really great deal because they gave you a bunch of applications. Uh, Acorn, I think, retails for $50, but it's a really cool application. If you're looking for a photo editing application, which is a little bit, little bit like Photoshop, but not, not nearly as expensive. Uh, next is Kinemac. Kinemac I also got in the Mac Ice bundle, and it's this really cool 3D graphic animation program. And uh, I was excited about it because all this came in the Mac Ice bundle, which was only $40. And so the 3D graphics application is really interesting because you can have text and you can rotate it all around and then you can build like 3D uh, shapes and add all this uh, and then make it move and you know it's pretty cool I'm still kinda learning how to do it iMovie, iMovie 09 that's the pretty standard iMovie 09 uh, iDVD I use that sometimes when I'm creating DVDs with slideshows something like that uh, QuickTime Player, this is QuickTime X or QuickTime 10 Excuse me, uh, I mentioned QuickTime X. The correct name is QuickTime 10, but you know a lot of people refer to it as QuickTime X. Uh, next is GarageBand. Uh, I use that occasionally. It's a cool application to kind of play around with. Spaces. I don't use this at all, so it's just in my. I, sh I should probably remove that. Uh, Keynote, Pages, and Numbers. These are the iWork. This is the iWork 08 suite. And this is what I used. Uh, I still I still like Numbers. Numbers is a great application because it has the preview templates. Like before you make it, it has all the templates. So like instead of going in and saying, okay, I gotta make this, and then I gotta change the cells, you just go into Numbers and you say, I want a checklist, and it will it'll have a, it'll have a checklist there. The hit list. This is a uh, an application that allows you to keep track of all your to dos and such. It's a it's a simple application, but you know, it's very 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 smooth. Works well. Times. This is an application like an RSS reader, so you can get all the feeds like uh, world news, uh, United States, technology, science, entertainment, sports. You know, whatever you customize it to how you like it. Uh, this application runs pretty well. It, it could be a little bit of improvement. I downloaded an update for this because it, it was sort of crashing, but. I think it's okay now. Microsoft Word, uh, great. Use it all the time for notes in for school and stuff. Everyone, the, this is the Office uh, for Mac 2008. 
So Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, and Entourage. Entourage is the mail client for Mac that Microsoft makes. Uh, the project gallery. I, I think I'll explore it. I think it'll be pretty cool. They might have some templates also. Xcode. I really want to get. I really want to know how to uh, get to know how to use Xcode, and uh, I'm really interested in that. So I was looking at the uh, <clears throat> on the iTunes, the uh, iPhone application programming podcast. So I'm interested in that. Uh, Time Machine. This is uh, the backup that runs regularly on Mac OS uh, Leopard or Snow Leopard. Uh, system Preferences. Uh, I like to have that far off in the corner because then I can, you know, get right to it. So uh, anyway, guys, this has just been a video showing you what's in my doc. Uh, I hope you found some interesting applications and kind of a cool, uh, cool doc. So uh, I will see you guys in the next video. And just sort of like an update, uh, I've been pretty busy with school, so the amount of videos that I'm making might be kind of less. <clears throat> but uh, I hope you guys understand because school does come first and it's going to be really busy for me this uh this school year so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video bye bye